<laughs> You're all frazzled. <laughs> what are you running out of this? Brian's sitting down now. It's a fish, it's big. Good catch, Brian. Yay! Oh, there he is! He's following us. Wow! Whoa! Yeah! He's following us, Sierra! What? Ryan! What? Good. I'm so excited to get going. It's a pretty big like milestone for me personally. You know, so many years ago we were here in the Pacific. Delos like crossed out of the Pacific eight years ago. Yep, you heard right. Eight years and two oceans ago, Kaza, Mormor, and myself departed Singapore and bashed our way through the Malacca Straits bound for the Indian Ocean. And now, so many years later, after exploring the Indian and Atlantic Oceans, it felt surreal to be back in the waters of the Pacific. Now we're back. We're headed up to Mexico. It's light breeze today. There's like two knots of wind, so I'm hoping that we'll at least get a little bit of something. But now we're just motoring along, glassy conditions. Or do you think all of these ships are waiting to go through the Panama Canal? Yeah, I don't know why else they would be here. <laughs> Our plans for the season would cover nearly 2,500 nautical miles, all the way from the Panama Canal to the northern part of the Sea of Cortez in Mexico, where we'd seek shelter from the northern Pacific hurricane season. It feels absolutely wonderful to be underway. As soon as we're out here and as soon as we cast off those lines, like all the stress and all the things just like disappear. Pretty light and we've got like seven and eight knots true wind, um, but it's just enough to sail. We're in no hurry, so we're just gonna cruise. The only problem is the wind dropped down to five knots. Oh, gee. <laughs> Whatever, who cares? We're not hurry. Today's video is brought to you by AG1 from Athletic Greens. About two weeks ago, we left port, and right now the fridge is looking pretty bare. Uh, fresh veggies and fruit are all gone, and my body is just craving nutrition. So about six months ago, I started making AG1 part of my morning routine. Uh, I don't really like complicated things, uh, regimens or routines in the morning, so AG1 is absolutely perfect for me. It's super easy and takes almost no time at all. Just one scoop of powder is chock full of vitamins, minerals, and probiotics, and it's actually like replacing nine health supplements all in one. It's also packed with all sorts of good stuff, like beetroot powder, riboflavin, and wheatgrass that help me sustain energy levels throughout the day. So just click the link in the description below or head on over to athleticgreens.com forward slash svdelos. If you do, you'll get a one-year supply of vitamin B drops which support your immunity and also five free travel packs of AG1 powder with your first purchase. Thanks very much for supporting our videos by watching and now back to the show. nice quiet yeah back sailing on Delos again <sighs> it's been a few years and then also a lot has changed but at the same time because I've been editing the videos from afar I also feel like I know like all the new sails and everything <laughs> like it looks familiar and it feels familiar even though it's actually uh, I think all new sails since I've been on this is about as chill as it gets 
Yeah. Goats get along at three knots. <laughs> this oh, is maximum level. level. It's like Chill, crawling, crawling speed. Yeah. We are. We're coming oh. for you, Mexico. Yeah, in like <laughs> three <laughs> years. <laughs> See you. <in> the... <laughs> cool. Three That's crazy. They're coming in like the hundreds. How would you describe our conditions right now? Ideal. Yeah. Amazing. We got just enough wind to keep the boat moving. We've got about eight to ten knots, and we're doing pretty good. Four to five knots, and uh, calm seas. Nugs took a nice little nap. It's perfect for setting out. It's Sierra! Whoa! Holy crap! Oh my god! It was right there. Right there. Oh, there he is! He's following us. Wow! Whoa! Yeah, it's following us, Sierra. <laughs> it's a whale. It's a whale, Nugs. Whales are really nice. Yeah. <laughs> no idea what kind of whale it is, but it has like a smaller dolphin fin, and it's not like massive like Delos, but maybe like a little bit more than half the length of Delos. If anybody knows about whales, please comment below if you know what whale it is. That would be really cool. Hey, sneaker! Sneaker! He snuck right up on us. Hey, Sierra, did you see the whale? Mm. <laughs> you woke up from your nap and saw a whale. The life of a toddler at sea. Holy, he's right. He's so close. <laughs> like, what is he doing? He's, he's like just, right next to the boat. Like, checking He's just going up. under and around. Whoa! I got that one. Yeah. On the GoPro. Got the shot. Look at the shot. I think we've seen at least four different ones. Because mm -hmm. there's one really close. And then I saw like one over there, one back there. Yeah, we're like in the middle They're of everywhere. a bunch of them. Yeah, so cool. Woohoo, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Imagine if sailing was like always like this. <laughs> then I think everyone in the whole world would sail. It's just so pleasant right now. Isn't it? You got dinner at sea, calm boat, steady breeze, running downwind, sunset. We even decided to put the poles up. Ow. I just stabbed my winch with my toe. That's the worst of my problems. Pull up, just ghosting along. Oh geez, it's been in manual focus that whole time. That's why it didn't look like it was focused. God, I just recorded like this really cool thing and I... <laughs> it was all <laughs> out of focus, like an idiot. And then we were like, well, how bad is it? Like, is it usable? And then Brian like goes to review the clip and he's like, you can't see anything. So maybe we'll play the audio for you anyways. Yeah. Maybe we can use some of the out of focus shots just to show what a great videographer I am. <laughs> and we're out. <laughs> Vlog style. Is it a fish? I think so. I think you got a fish on. Something's on. Look at that. Wow. What, what do we do now? Okay, I'm gonna get my <laughs> You're all frazzled. I'm frazzled. <laughs> oh, what are you running on this circus? <laughs> get him strapped in. Get the strap on. Brian's sitting down now. <laughs> it's a fish, it's big. Gonna slow us down a little bit. How much did we slow down, Kaza? Like half speed, so like three miles and six. Yeah. That's easier. Is it going better? It's easier. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, did I get so weak or what? <laughs> instant gratification of buying new fishing gear and then Whoa. catching a fish. Wow. <laughs> See the fish, Sierra? Yeah. Yeah, it's the ocean. It's a massive. Good catch, Ryan. Yay. 
Yeah. When was the last time you caught a fish? Like a fish that I kept ages ago. I don't even remember. What do you think about that? Oh, that. It's two o'clock in the morning and we're going really, really slow. <laughs> yeah, the wind's dropping a lot and we're traveling between like two and three knots. But we're approaching Punta Mala. Yeah, I've got about an hour left until Brian comes back on watch. Buenos dias. It is about three miles in the morning. Three miles in the morning. <laughs> We're about 25 miles from Punta Mala, which means the bad point because it's known for two currents coming together and uh, the currents create all sorts of confused seas and other nastiness. So hopefully we won't have too much trouble going around there. The wind's really light. So I think it's a pretty good forecast to get around this point. It feels really good to be out. Uh, I mean, Panama City is cool, but I think we're all just ready to get like underway and to get going. It's a beautiful night. It's dark, some stars. That's how we like it. Nice and quiet on watch. If anything happens, I will definitely let you know. Okay, bye. To change not just how they work, earn and spend, but also... Looking pretty chill out here still. Yeah, there's not much going on. Five knots and six knots of wind. And it is so chill. Feels like we're not in the ceiling. Yes. Yeah. One day into the trip, we were doing pretty well, just ghosting along in light breeze and calm seas. I think we were all just stoked to have the canal transit behind us and be back at sea, working our way north for the season. We were also amazed by the abundance of the marine life in the Pacific. Dolphins! Oi! Oi! Hello! Good morning! Dolphins at sunrise. Yeah, that's about as lucky as you can be. Such a good morning. So beautiful out today. Amazing. It is no wind today. We're just motor sailing. I think we decided to go to this one place. It's like right here. It's supposed to be a pretty good surf spot. We actually just popped into a little bit of reception and I went to check the surf forecast. But everything that we saw online was with a V and then in the book it's so we're like pretty sure we're looking at the same spot, but we'll find out when we get there. Yeah. See we're rounding the infamous Punta Mala. I know, everybody talked about this spot and warned us that it's like crazy here and it is flat calm. <laughs> yeah. We do have like two knots of current with us, right? Yeah, two knots of current with us and yeah. two knots of wind. Yeah. We're so it's like right a lot calm. <laughs> we just went from like zero to 50 knots. <laughs> Punta Mala! So we were able to put up the sails again. We're getting closer to our anchor. We did decide that we should just stop at this place and check out the surf and see how comfortable it is for the boat. And if it's really not comfortable, we'll probably leave. Like, just stay for a few hours and then go. You can like smell the heat of the land. Like land heat. Land heat. Banal, and it's known for surfing. We just dropped Jordan off at the surf break over there. 
We brought the dinghy over here where there's less break. So it's such big tides and still waves, so we didn't want to land the dinghy, so we swam it. He's gonna go up to the beach for a little bit. What are you doing? Digging? You digging like a dog? <laughs> She's like, yes, finally the beach. Sierra is definitely happy to be off the boat for a bit. <laughs> yeah. She did so good though. She hasn't been to the though. beach in like two weeks. I know, and she loves the beach. She's, She's going nuts. so good on the sail. It's amazing. How was it? First Servo Panama check. <laughs> was it good? It was pretty good. Yeah, it was um, a little bit closing out, but it was yeah. good to just be in the water and happy days. Yay! Yeah! We found the pool. We decided to not stay here overnight because I think if the wind shifts us a little bit, we, it's gonna get real rolly. So uh, we're like a charter boat today. We I know. Come in, do a few <laughs> hours of fun activities, swimming, surfing, and then we're up. We're on the beach, swimming in the pool. We're up. Yeah. We're up. Who needs TV or internet when you can just watch a baby swinging around on the boat all day? This is like the best entertainment ever. No, I can do a butt slap on the thing. No. Did you do a butt slap? Yeah. <laughs> I just came a watch five minutes before my watch started. The wind came up from like basically nothing almost 20 knots and there is a thunder around some random dots out there I don't know if it's like rain or if it's um, fishing boats I hate when the depth is doing like really weird things it should be like 500 meters here so then for a while it's been like hovering around like 30 meters and then it goes to like unreadable again it's just weird to think that something might be like swimming under the boat for a while. Know, that freaks me out. <laughs> Another hour and then Brian will come on. And I will sleep for a little bit before Sierra wakes up. It's a very calm morning. There's no wind. It's glass out there and the sky is really, really gray and the reflection on the water is all silvery and it looks very mysterious and cool. We're about 40 miles from the northern part of Koiba Island, which is our first spot that we're gonna anchor. And we're gonna be in some of the most beautiful islands of Panama. It's a marine park. It's really famous for scuba diving there. And now we just have to keep on cruising and we'll be there in no time. like really playful too. I love dolphins. It's amazing. Get him on the side. Oh, I might. No way. Holy shit. What? Brian. What? Holy shit. Brian, you need something. It's crazy, Jordan. Do you know that like they're super colorful and when they die all the color drain from their skin. So they become like gray. I think these are the prettiest pelagic fish. They are the prettiest. I think it's sad about mahis though because they they breed in pairs, you know? And then they breed for life. So if this one had a mate then she's gonna be sad. 
circle of life though, I guess, huh? Beautiful fish. 11 kilos. Wow. 24 pounds, 25 pounds. Beefcake. That's like as much as Sierra weighs. <laughs> don't see that. <laughs> this is a mahi, and it's just a beautiful white meat. And to fillet this, I generally just like trace around the edges with a knife, being careful not to get into the guts. I go as high into the head as I can, and then along the top of the backbone. The final hollow is meat for days. <laughs> yeah. Look at all these fillets. Damn. We're gonna definitely need some help. Sure is glorious day. I think so. It's like really hot today, but we're sweating away in the kitchen and it's lunchtime and we're almost at the island. So we figured before we get there, it would be really nice to just toss up some ceviche because we caught that what we think is a kingfish. It's like one of the most ideal fish for ceviche from my Google search. So I was like, I have to do it. <laughs> so we're just gonna, yeah, cut up the fish and make a little lunch. Five minutes. Bing. Oh, that blows all the other ceviche we've had out of the water. Yeah, it's, it's so good. good. It's so tender. There's a lot too, so we gotta eat it all. <laughs> not gonna be a problem. Mm, thank you. And the view is not bad either. No. Mm -hmm. Look at that. There's a ranger station. That's where we gotta go in and pay. Up next on Delos. We drop our hook at the amazing island of Cuiba, where we decide to explore the underwater world and experience the incredible biodiversity of the Pacific. Got some length on this puppy over here. Long and skinny. Long and skinny. Long and skinny. <laughs> See a fish? She's looking for fish. <laughs> Look at that tongo. What are you doing, oh, tongue? Is that a tasty cushion? It's got daddy's back sweat on it. Ooh. Nom, 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 nom. Is daddy sleeping there? <laughs> Whale, it's pretty good so Whale, so far. it's pretty good. <laughs> Whale, if I don't say so myself. Oh. No. <laughs> Get that bird! Get it! Oh! <laughs> I came up for my wash this morning and I found some evidence. Pigs and taters, milk chocolate with bacon flavored bits and potato chips. So busted Brian. <laughs>